making Gus. Today we are making... <laughs> getting all the ingredients which you'll be able to see on the website so first you need to add your four tablespoons of self-raising flour to the mug and it has to be the largest mug you have otherwise it will otherwise it will overflow when you cook it Now you've done that, you need to add your four tablespoons of caster sugar. Oh, oh, oh. Next, we add two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Then you have to mix this all together. Make sure it's all mixed and it should become a brownish, whitish colour blend. Step 2. Add in a medium egg and mix in as much as you can. But don't worry if there's still dry mix because that's fine. The egg, crack, and put in there. Make sure there's no shell in because that would be gross. Then you get crunchy cake. Make sure you try to get as much mix as possible, but don't be worried if you don't. And you're going to need to mix that. Should look a bit like that. Next, next, next thing. Grab a tablespoon of egg, three tablespoons of egg, and an elk. He can't speak today. So it gets all the shaking. Then you also add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. My hands are really slippery from the egg. One, two, three. Then you want, then you can dip some flour or vegetable oil. I have this. After that, a few drops of vanilla essence. Which we'll get to in a minute. Make sure you're very careful when you're doing this. in this tiny bit grab the spoon from earlier and start mixing that all together to make the cake mix then it should come hopefully you do it until smooth then 
after that you add in your chocolate if you're doing that. Looks my smooth batter. Very good. Okay, next we're adding in two tablespoons of chocolate. So I'm doing one tablespoon white, one tablespoon dark because they go very well together. Then you have to mix it again, obviously, to get it everywhere. You just put it in the first hasn't been opened yet. spoon again make a nice mix make sure you get it everywhere otherwise there's going to be loads of chocolate at the top then you're not going to have any at the bottom which you don't want there we go done that I need to look at the recipe again next we have to put it in the center of the microwave for one and a half or two minutes. Now if you do it for one and a half and it's not cooked yet, put it in for an extra 10 seconds at a time so you can check on it every 10 seconds. Now the short break while we do cook it, it works perfect. Nice and firm like a cake should be. See? Anyway, I'm going to have a short break to let it cool down a bit so I don't burn my tongue or anything. Then I'll, sh then I'll eat it after. At the desk with the cake. Let's try this thing. Similar colour on inside. Should look like chocolate. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. You need to make this if you do. Mm -hmm. 